All right, I'm just going to start and hope that at some point in the near future. Uh, My phone's internet will actually realize its existence and not refuse to work for stupid reasons. Uh, hey everyone, welcome to this fun. Uh, I don't think that I need to tell you that this is not Pathfinder. Uh, I'm afraid that the entire crew couldn't make it tonight. Um, and I generally don't really like playing with only like a partial crew and especially not when when the full group is a total of three so right now it's just me continuing my playthrough of Grim Dawn because why not go I guess me Macy and glory yeah never truly alone uh, me and two random ghosts that I picked up somewhere along the way anyway uh, well it's also unusual for me, because usually I play this on Fridays, not on Sundays. Uh, the whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Now... Uh, where was I? Okay. So... Blood crew. So what are we doing here? Um, well, trying to get a level 50 because there is a new Codex of Reckoning waiting for us. Codex of Reckoning is the book that we carry with us all the time uh, because it is dear and important to us. Uh, and it gives us amazing power. Uh, the plan for today is to get to level 50 uh, and in doing so, trying to restore a shrine. Uh, if we could get that, that would be great. Uh, and that's also why I'm here. It's because there is, close to here, there is a portal uh, that leads to where we need to go. Uh, so yeah. And it doesn't get replaced. The, the Codex of Reckoning never gets replaced. It gets updated. Uh, right now, I'm I'm basically carrying the um, the like Codex Light. Uh, it is it is great and all, but it's not it's not the complete thing because. No one really can handle the the entire Codex of Reckoning. That's just too much for a human mind. Uh, until you get to level like 90 or so. Uh, but we will get an updated version soon. Uh, is this one any good? Yeah, no, not really. Oh. Uh, and after we're level 50, um, we can go to uh, one of my favorite locations in this game. Which is uh, Port Vilbury. Uh, it is extremely difficult. It is also entirely optional. Um, but I really like how it looks and how they've designed the place. Uh, but getting there is getting there is always a bit of a challenge. 
Uh, right now, I am mostly looking for a portal that does not show up on the map, but we can hear it because it makes the same sound as a uh, as a rift gate. And actually, I can hear it right now. So yeah, it's somewhere in vicinity. It's right here. Uh, this sound is the same sound as a rift gate, but the nearest rift gate is um, there. So this leads us somewhere else. Leads us to the ashen waste. Uh, I cannot make rift gates here. Uh, I'm trying. The button is blacked out. So we'll have to find another way back. Hopefully, and not be locked up here forever. That would suck. That looks ominous. Yes, it is extremely ominous. Uh, it is a pretty dreary place. It is probably one of the... One of the most intense... One of the most intense locations uh, in this game. I would say that... Uh, there are more of these? Uh, I think this one is mostly intense because it's the first one you enter. Uh, the other are the others are a bit cooler, um, but th they're not. You don't enter them for the first time, so they're not as they're not as impressive and not as like whoa! It is so dark here. Uh, but there's the rune stone of Mogrogan, which we need. We need to restore a shrine. Uh, I think that Port Vilbury may be, so far from what I've seen, be the most ominous. Not so much in in the way it looks, um, uh, but because Port Vilbury is the only town that you encounter in this uh, in this game, or uh, until you get to Malma, but that's DLC, and I haven't been there. It is the only town that you can actually see what the Ether Corruption has done. And it looks pretty cool. Um, and kind of terrifying. Uh, speaking of DLC, uh, I did want to ask because I'm still uh, facing this discussion with my, uh, on my own. Uh, but I thought, why not ask people? Um, Which would you prefer? That I do the DLC on my own first, because I haven't done it yet, and we get to the place where I kind of need to hurry up if I want to do them on my own before. Um, are you really good? Um, lower chaos and bleeding resistance. Ah. No, resistances are going to hurt me too much there. Uh, yeah, corruption's job is to look ominous. Whether it is ominous it doesn't really matter, as long as it looks the part. You know, fake it till you make it. Uh, but no, I'm, I got distracted by an item that might be cool. Um, what should I do? Should I play the DLCs on my own first, so that I can... Uh, I can read all the... Uh, so that I can read everything I encountered beforehand. And when... Uh, and I can, like I do now, kind of tell the story as it is going on. Uh, or should I not play them and discover them... Uh, you know, discover them with you, basically. Because we, we are getting closer and closer to the actual end of the main game. Okay. 
Uh, I will. I will still have to think about it and resist the urges to actually play it. Uh, that's all fine. Now, the only unfortunate part. I I like the. Uh, I kind of like the ending of the game. <laughs> it's. I'm very happy that there's DLC after it because. The ending of the game feels a little bit incomplete uh, because you you solve one problem, but there's still another big looming problem that's unsolved, and that kind of gets forgotten about. Uh, one thing that I do find a bit unfortunate about the ending is that, uh, and that is mainly for a stream thing. From now on out, it all gets kind of uh, kind of predictable no, not maybe not predictable but um, like there are some more interesting parts with the big twists are all uh, it is basically we know that we need to get uh, to get to the necropolis uh, because the Chthonian cult is planning something scary there. Uh, and if you've got a cult at an Acropolis who is doing something scary, it's probably to, you know, resurrect some long dead god or something of the like. Uh, so you can kind of easily guess what the next thing that we're going to do is. Oathkeeper Soldier, yes! Oathkeeper Soldier without a shield, because Codex of Reckoning, and I really wanted to play a character based around Codex of Reckoning. Uh, so here it is. No shield. To my big surprise, it somehow works. I'm still really surprised by how... how well we're doing. That we're not just... you know, dying all the time. I don't even know. I mean, don't know if that's sad. Have we been deathless so far? I, I don't know. Might also be that I kind of know what I'm doing by now. But I know that resistances are apparently extremely important. And there's our way out. Right? Just remember. Uh, but first, let's, let's clean up this place. There we go. That was the first rift that we're going to enter today. And then back to Fort Ica. On to the next one. Yeah, there's Macy and Glory, who by the way skill with my bonuses. Um, which is extremely good. Story. Because my Codex of Reckoning is pretty powerful, and the only drawback is that it doesn't... Um, like, I cannot use a shield or a two-handed weapon while using it, but it gives j just a casual plus 169% physical damage. But Amazing Glory are using a two-handed weapon, uh, and that just goes... they just get the full bonus. Which is really good. By the way, this shield, I think it was this one, yeah it's this one. Uh, the Obsidian Defender is so good uh, that a character, uh, one of my main characters, has that shield. Well, they've got nothing that gives any bonuses on shield, it's just better than an offhand focus, so why use the shield? Uh, that, whoa, that was weird. Oh, I was trying to rush to the top of it. Yeah, that did work.
Oh, you're big. Right, so now we're going to the Plains of Strife. Uh, and about this location, I can tell you absolutely nothing. Because it's not that interesting. It, it It's just... Kind of a filler location. It is the place between the Necropolis and Fort Icon, and that is all that it's there for. Um, people did put down mines here, which is extremely frustrating because they suddenly damage you. Uh, oh well. So we're looking for another rift around here somewhere. Uh, and I found that the best way to find them is by listening to the sound of a rift gate where it shouldn't be. Or not where it shouldn't be, where it's not on the map. I mean, it's kind of... Rift gates in general probably shouldn't be there. I am no expert, but in general... Uh, Ooh, a rifle book? No, 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 we're going to leave that one there. We're not going to take some of the rifles to sell and spread around the world. Come on. If I linger for a long time on items, it is probably because I switch characters in my head. Um, or I need to switch characters in my head. And then I'm like, oh, elemental damage, cool. Yeah, because I'm playing a fire damage based character. And then it's like, oh no, I play physical damage based character. <laughs> I should remember that. Speaking of which, what is our. Oh, superior moves and bludgeon of luck. Yeah, fair. So those mines we encounter uh, are mines that were put down there by our uh, supposed friends in the Black Legion, uh, who apparently did not warn me about them. But that's okay. These things are weird, ethereal obelisks. You have to kill them twice. Uh, because when you first reduce them to uh, 0 HP, uh, they rise up from the ground and start flying around. They are weird. We're going to encounter quite a number of them. Oh, I just walked past the rift. I should get back there in a moment. Uh, I also should watch out here because I'm standing in dangerous train and it's pretty hostile. Wow. It would seem that the bots have arrived. It's fine. Just take your time. Uh, so we're another uh, Forsaken Waste. The previous one was Ashen Waste. Uh, this one actually has two levels. So look forward to that. 
Uh, wait. Oh, now I know what's going on. Yeah, we're not friendly enough with Alcos yet. Thanks for deleting him. Um, the Outcast is still, in my opinion, the best character in the game. She is so incredibly awesome. Uh, and uh, the Black Legion hates her, which makes her even more awesome. Uh, so we're now we're here to we're, we're here for two reasons actually, uh, which is kind of nice. I always like it to go to locations for more than one reason. It makes me feel useful. Uh, we are here to pick up the spirit of Monk Drogon, which uh, the Chthonians took and have lost somewhere here, and we wanted to restore a shrine because shrines are good. I mean, the Black Legion aren't really my enemy. They're they're just assholes. They they're very. Uh, they're they're kind of the the. I feel that it's almost a classic in uh, in apocalypse settings. They're they're what remains of uh, basically the law enforcement, uh, and they still. They still claim to that, and they still think that because they were a big deal once, uh, they are still a big deal now. Uh, funnily enough, uh, this is, in uh, in my experience, uh, it is usually the other way around. Uh, but here it's the. Um, the words. Wow. The leaders, the kind of um, commanders of the Black Legion so far, are actually pretty cool. Uh, they are Inquisitor Creed and Ogrim, who are both pretty awesome characters, in my opinion. Uh... They know what is going on, and they know that you know. Uh, in this in this world, you need all the help you can get, uh, which is also the reason why uh, Inquisitor Creed doesn't want uh, the Outcast killed because the Outcast has a lot of information on the Ethereals and on uh, I think also on the Chthonians, but especially the Ethereals. And the Creed is like, yeah, that's pretty useful and we've made use of that, so, you know, we should let this person live. Because that is the respectful and reasonable thing to do. Uh, we are also here to kill uh, Bane Gargoth who is uh, a monster we need to kill for um, Kaiman's Chosen. I want to say the Cult of Chthon. No, for Kaiman's Chosen, all his cults. And I think it's either the last quest or one of the last quests we get from him. And then we're done with, we're done with those people. Uh, and we can focus on our own cult. Speaking of which, we're level 50 now. Which is amazing. And it's amazing because level 50 in this game is a big deal. Uh, 
getting to level 50 means that... Um, oh, did I have enough of these? I don't remember. Oh dear. Uh, mm, can I... I can't. Okay, so I'm going to wait with investing my, my attribute point. Just to know... For sure that we can get the other Codex of Reckoning and not be like, oh yeah, you need 477 spirit. Uh, because that would suck. Uh, three points. I mean... Uh, I find this so difficult to do once I... Once I have most of the abilities. I think that those two are cool. We use those quite a lot. Or Celestial Presence. I, I kind of want to, for every... I want to just increase Macy and Glory at least every level. Uh, until we cap out. Just because it's fun, and I play this game to have fun and not to, not to min-max stuff. I mean, honestly, if I were a min... Uh, if I were to min-max this, I would not use the Codex of Reckoning. Hello! It is, like I've said so many times, surprisingly effective. Yeah, they they deserve a reward. They deserve a promotion every time. Uh, because if I level, uh, they help me level, so if I level, I should give them something too. There's the spirit of Mogdrogan. I probably pronounced that name really weirdly. I am aware of that. Uh, but this is the way how, how I choose to pronounce it, or how my mouth chooses to pronounce it, I guess. I also like how this place has no music but howling wind. It really adds to the atmosphere. Like, well done game. And now we go deeper into... This is into the Obsidian Throne, right? I think so. Yes, Obsidian Throne. Uh, so now, it is no longer a place in... Uh, in Void and Mist, but we're now surrounded by um, rivers of blood, and I'm almost dying, and I don't know why that so suddenly happened. Maybe because I've got no vitality resistance. What? That's really bad. Why am I doing that? <laughs> and that is probably going to kill me here. Great. Uh, look at that. Now it's just all red. Red rivers there, which uh, I don't think is uh, just colored water. I don't like how uh, how those specific enemies explode when they die because they deal so much damage with that. I should really go into that. I should. Uh, mm. Okay, maybe after Port Filbury, because in Port Filbury we are probably not going to encounter much that is going to deal uh, vitality damage. So we should be fine there. But once we go to the late game, yeah, we need vitality resistance. Uh, that's a problem for future me. Oh, yeah. How am I going to get Vitality Resistance? Uh, I'm first going to look if there are any components that give it. Uh, because that's usually... 
kind of a good guess. Uh, I might get it kind of naturally by finding uh, new pieces of equipment that give me vitality resistance. Look at that. It even flows. Uh, because I do expect to, you know, change equipment at some point later. Uh, because the only thing that I'm really... That I will really stick with using is... Uh, is the Codex of Reckoning, obviously. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a lot of damage. I, I feel... It, it's it's weird. I feel so double about item sets. Uh, because there are some great item sets in this game. And I often really like the flavor. Um, and I really like the stuff that they give. By giving bonus points to certain classes, they really give huge boosts for having higher... Um... For having more more items of the same set, but it's also so limiting. Like I'm, uh, by now I finished the main game twice. Uh, one of those characters uh, used an item set from level 50 till the end of the game, and probably, uh, you know, still for a decent part after it. And it's fun and cool and it's a pretty nice item set and it really really adds to the character and it makes the character very powerful but it's unfortunate that then I don't change my items anymore and I like changing items I like finding finding new stuff and thinking like, oh, this item is cool, let's go and use it. I do want everything to be possible. That is why I play tabletop RPGs. I'm going to wait until my fighting spirit cooldown is done, because I will need it. Because this is a boss fight. Oh, you use fire! Okay. That boss fight was easier than most of the enemies here. Uh, I don't know why. That's a cool item. I also hope, now that we're level 50, uh, that I'm going to see some legendary items laying around. Those are always fun. I really like how the legendary items in the game. They feel so rewarding. Anyway, uh, we continue to walk through mines uh, on our way to the necropolis, or to the gates of the necropolis. series of mines. No big deal. Oh. Oh yeah, of course! Yeah, I've given you those items. I should remember that. I don't. I should. I just walked through more mines. Why did you place mines here? Like, what did you expect to happen? Like this barricade, there's an actual tank behind there. And then you put mines at the inside of the barricade. Okay, sure. You cannot convince me that they don't secretly want me dead. I'm quite sure they do. They're all afraid of the truth, I know it.
I am really excited for next session, I have to say. Yes! Alright, the outcast now likes us even more. Which is good, because we can get new quests. And I love me some quests. Come on. They are invulnerable for a moment when they rise up from the ground. I once again walk through mines. Guys, please put your mines in more tactical locations because apparently it doesn't really do much for you, but I still keep walking into them. <laughs> I am so easily distracted. Also just trying to, to make conversation, because this is not an interesting area. But we have to get through it, and we will get to a really cool area soon, I promise. Uh, and it's also a really long area. I think one of the biggest kind of like areas you have to do in one go in the game. Most of the time you kind of have a rift gate in between somewhere that you can go back to. Uh, but this area is absolutely enormous. Uh, and from around halfway through, no, far, far mm, uh, about halfway through, uh, you cannot open rift gates anymore. And then you're stuck. Uh, until you get it out, until you get out by defeating boss, or you die. One of the two. But it's worth it, because it's a really cool location. And there are a lot of notes that we're going to ignore. That I probably should have read in on beforehand, but I didn't. Yeah. And gates from Acropolis Rift Gate. Excellent. Oh yeah, I should probably repeat that, huh? Um, we usually play uh, Pathfinder on Sundays using the Spheres of Power system and Spheres of Might system because they are cool. Uh, first edition Pathfinder, by the way. Safe storage, no question. Uh, and it's a lot of fun, we're having a lot of fun. Uh, we are called Rules as Fun for a reason. See anything you like? Uh, and right now, uh, the players are escorting a group of nobles uh, back to their hometown. Uh, and one of the nobles, or the nobles, are all there to potentially become. Uh, oh. Wait. Korean is full up. Ah, damn it. Okay. I once again got distracted, I am aware. Whoops. The players are escorting a group of nobles. Uh, so that one of them can become uh, the new lord of their uh, of their home city. Uh, but, you know, not all the nobles may make great lords for uh, an area that's basically kind of a war front at all times. So the players have, sent, uh, have, given, have been given a secondary mission uh, to see if any of those nobles are suitable for their job, and if so, which ones. And that is kind of what they're trying to figure out right now. And they've got a long journey ahead of them, so they've got a lot of time to figure it out. Uh, eh, you look alright, but we have way better. Wait, I did have... 
Oh, it's in my... Yeah, of course. I keep forgetting in this game that uh, when you interact with some locations, such as shrines, you do not actually need the items on you. You can also have them in your uh, in your shared inventory and it will be fine. Which is what's happening now. And that's great. So now we can just offer. Uh, and now we will have to feed some monsters. Some more Ketonians. And now, and you cannot see him because he has appeared behind a bunch of items. Uh, which we're now going to very slowly pick up one by one. Oh, it's a very old item, but it has a lot of resistances. Yeah, alright, fine. I will just pick up all the items so we can actually see the character. There we go. Monk Drogon. You have done the Rawari great justice to stay immortal. For this, I thank you. Is this your shrine? The shrine was created in my honor. Yes, it is one of many, though none suffered the corruption. None suffered the corrupting presence of the Chthon as this one. Your valor shall not go without reward. Uh, so this is an actual god. Apparently. Or the avatar of one uh, for a god called uh, for a god called uh, the Great Wolf. Uh, he is surprisingly unwolf-like, uh, but I'm not that interested. In him, so I'm just gonna say thank you and walk away. Am I going to jump off the cliff? Why would I? This is really high. Besides, I can't. Even if I tried, I could. Uh, we got another diversion point, which means... More defensive ability, more armor, and bleeding resistance. Nice. Bleeding resistance is looking great. Our vitality in either resistance is looking absolutely abysmal. Yeah, the game, uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I feel that that is quite common for this genre of games. Um, has very much limited where you can walk. So, in general, spare for uh, hidden paths. If it is not a... if it's not shown... if it does not show up on your minimap, you probably cannot walk there. Anyone, uh, anyway. Hey, uh, hey, Kaiman. Uh, excuse me, Father Kaiman. Uh, we have indeed braved the Obsidian Throne, and Bane Gargoth lies dead. You are a brave soul, and your loyalty to me knows no limits. Uh, mm, uh, it was more that it was convenient. Was, was you know, I was nearby anyway. I thought I uh, might as well. When the time is right, you shall become my agent of righteousness. With your help, I will banish the darkness from this world and restore care to greatness once more. What is your will? You are a valued ally of the Chosen, but the matters ahead are, cri are of critical importance. And you have not yet proven your complete de dedication to our cause. You just said that my dedication had no limits. Please, come back to me when you've proven your loyalty to the rest of the Chosen. For without their approval, I cannot send. I cannot send you to do what must be done next. All right. So uh, we are now respected by them, but we need to be honored. Which we do by killing Chthonians, killing all of the vigil quests and bounties. Luckily, there are a lot of Chthonians around to kill, uh, but not right now. I mean, it's a dipshit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he has an order named after himself, which, you know, 
kind of tells you what kind of person it is. So let's take a refreshing break, break from Kaiman. Uh, and let's go to... Uh, I keep forgetting her name. And I know that's really bad. Let's go to Anasteria. The outcast. Hello. The tome you have brought me was quite informative. But now I must have something that even you might not be able to procure. What is it this time? In order to learn about chthonic enemies, I must acquire something from the void itself. Obsidian is frequently found in the depths of the, Chthoni, of the Chthonic Plain, but it can't just be any old chunk of it. No, I must have the most vile, concentrated obsidian you can find, that could only be acquired within the Bastion of Chaos, which you can enter through a rift the cult has opened at the Necropolis. Seek out a monstrous creature called Galarbar Gok and bring me the obsidian it possesses. I will cry the obsidian. I mean, I don't think the codex actually contains every piece of information, just the stuff that is most relevant for me. Uh Safe storage, no questions on And I'm okay with her because she's I'll keep cool. an eye on this. Come see what's left of my wares. See you around. Uh speaking of the codex. Safe storage, no questions. Empowered codes of reckoning. Oof. Huh, huh. 209 or 260% increased physical damage. Hmm. Yeah, you are way better. Okay, that one is clear. Uh, I'm going to sell you. Mark of Purity of Mark of the Oaths. Uh, let's just quickly see which one is better. Uh, no, no, that one. Okay, so that one is better. Power Turin's Grip. It's like Turin's Grip, but better. Wait, you are better, right? Oh no! No! Afraid of that. Yeah, what if we do this? Does that help? Nope. Okay. So we have to wait with. We have to wait with getting uh, the Empire Turing's rips until we actually have enough spirit to carry the Codex of Reckoning on our own, which would mean. I think that's just eight. No, it's. Yeah, it's eight more. It's literally one more level. How about you? Oh, you also give me one spirit. Oh no! Oh no! This is awful! Right, fine. I'll keep an eye out. Okay. So, those two are still waiting. Come see what's left. Uh, but they mess. will be worth it. I promise. See you around. Uh, and for now. I am quickly going here uh, to transfer some items from what I'm uh, what I'm carrying right now to uh, keep add on to the new Codex Reckoning and to our new Mark of Impurity here. and chaos resistance. Oh, that's cool. More chaos resistance is always nice. Alright. So now, with an upgrade goddess reckoning. Do I want to... I probably should go to Port Field. Uh, first. I just quickly... I'm going to be boring and do some... In, do some um, I do the best I can. Basically, component management. 
stuff that gives me spirit would be nice. You are using amulets. Do you have something? You've got roiling blood. This is more important than roiling blood. Uh, so let's replace some roiling blood. Roiling blood is okay for physical characters, but by now, plus 8% physical damage is nothing. Let's see. 44.99 to... Yeah, 44.52. That's fine. Yes, it is lower, but not by too much, and we need the spirit. I do the best I can. By which I mean... The stuff named Spirit. Which was this one. So now we can probably replace one of these, but not both. Uh, I don't expect... no. Mm. Oh. By a lot. Damn. Okay. Ah, uh, that's very unfortunate because you've got plus one to all skills of soldier. No, okay, we need a lot more spirit because we before we can actually get that. That is unfortunate, but okay. For you, first the chaos. There we go. Then vitality. Sanctified bone, head and chest armor. That is unfortunate. Okay. Greedy, that little that gives vitality resistance. Okay. Well, guess we'll die. Yeah, we are always short on spirit, and it's. Honestly, the biggest drawback about um, the Codex of Reckoning is not so much that that we cannot use a shield or, or a two-handed weapon, which would be really useful. It is the fact that we have to invest into spirit, which doesn't give us more physical damage or more health. Like, spirit gives bonuses in, uh, in energy and in the non-physical damage types, which are two things that we do not specialize in. And that's just really unfortunate. Anyway. We're going to do a hard thing. Uh, we are going into the conflagration, if I can figure out how. Yes, it's this way. It is this way. I'm quite sure it is, at least. Yes, yes it is. Yeah, it absolutely is. Uh, so, we're taking damage. Over time, which cannot be prevented. And either resistance, for whatever reason, does not help against it. Oh, look at that! We got some vitality resistance from the location. <laughs> well, I, I guess I asked for it. Thanks, I guess. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's what I mean. You can very easily suddenly take way too much damage right here. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope no one is typing in chat right now, because I cannot see anything. So my internet has decided to not work. Uh, this is where we're gonna go in a moment, but first we need to do some other things. This is once again one of the locations where I am so happy that Macy and Glory cannot take damage. Uh, because it means that I don't have to worry about keeping their health high. 
uh, in this location because they are actually immortal. It's, you know, sometimes makes me kind of wonder why I am here if they are immortal and I am not, but you know, it's fine. I guess they're not actually physical beings and someone has to carry the book for them. Yeah, someone has to summon them. And they also seem to be in some way at... Oh, what happened? What just... That sounded like one of my abilities turning off. That was disturbing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, yeah, so moments like that. Where suddenly it's like, oh, a lot of damage. <laughs> well, I guess you're almost dead here. Good luck. They seem to be, to some degree, bound to uh, bound to me and my abilities. Uh, because, well, one, my abilities make them stronger, and um, if I upgrade one of my abilities, uh, they disappear. What are you doing here? This is Ether Train. Come on. Ethereus are also not showing up in your plane. Why are you showing up here? I think I might be stuck, I am not quite sure. Okay. More reputation without cost. That's Ethan and Kale's damage, that's not what we want. No. No. About different places. I mean, Skull Trip has a bit of a weird phrasing when it's into enemy territory, but you know, who am I to judge? I don't know how Chthonians work, I don't even know what they are. Can I afford less poison and bleed resist? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, oh wait, you do give way more spirit. Okay, I'm going to put you aside. Because I might want you a little bit later. If you allow me to upgrade one uh, upgrade another one of my items, you're absolutely worth it. Uh, if not, uh, probably not. Alright, so, here we go. Time to take some damage. And here's the Herald of Flame. Excuse me, Herald of the Flame.
and I've been to a war from, uh, war from school trip. No, the closest thing I came to was I, I have actually been to a war memorial school trip. Uh, that that is actually a thing that has happened. Uh, but no, no war fronts one. Uh, I live in the middle of nowhere, or I I I still live in the middle of nowhere. I used to live in the absolute middle of nowhere. Uh, which I assume was probably the reason. Uh, schools are probably a few decades behind. Oh, shield training. Oh, never mind. Uh, by the way, look at that. There are abandoned cannons here. Uh, and there are some people in the Black Legion who are very interested in getting cannons. Uh, and very confident in uh, their abilities to estimate my abilities and saying that I cannot do it. And here we are. I am dying. That would be a very awkward moment to actually die. Uh, uh, which would tell us that there are moments when it is not actually awkward to die. I'm going to put up a rift gate, just in case, and I should have done that way earlier, and I keep forgetting to do that. And it's so dumb. Because somehow one of the most lethal places here is getting into this place. That can just really mess you up. Oh, I, I totally missed that I actually lost Oleron's Might when I switched items. I've been trying to use that for the last few fights. I still killed everything, so apparently it's fine, but it's still, it's, I feel a bit stupid now. Everything is fine. Do I need to risk it? Reminders? Uh, generally not. It is kind of just this place where it really becomes important. Uh, am I going to hop back? Uh, let's first step through the rift gate. Uh, I'm sorry, through the rift. Okay, so one, one, just one slight thing. This is an ethereal rift. But all of the other rifts that we could take over are also ethereal rifts. So I don't really know what makes this one different. But it is different because we're now no longer in the conflagration. We're now in Port Vilbury outskirts. Uh, and unfortunately it doesn't show it on the map. Uh, but we're now there. Right there in Port Vilbury. Uh, next to Port Vilbury. We're more likely somewhere there, I think. There or there. But I'm just quickly going to go back. No, we're not in a sunken pirate ship. It is a normal ship that has sunken. Uh, we could also use a bit of food. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, that was not terrible. It looks like a pirate ship, okay? It looks like a ship! Uh, anyway... Would be cooler if it was a pirate ship. Okay, fine. Since it is not determined what kind of ship uh, it is, for your sake, I... Uh, we will say that it is indeed a pirate ship. Now, does this give me enough spirit for this? It does. Um. Okay, so, uh, my poison and acid resist is now absolutely abysmal. 
the rest is great. Just, just look at our, our damage output is fantastic. Uh, and our armor is good too. Uh, but now, uh, there was one thing for fight. Vitality. Vitality. Oh, that's not high spell vitality. Uh, sanctified bone. Chest and head armor. And we have now a free piece of head armor, so I'm just going to get one of yours. Which we need purified salt. Pure. Pure. Purified salt. There we go. One, two, three, four. And then one of you. And we waste a lot of materials, but now. Vitality resistance. Is there something we can do in uh, head armor? Uh, either I need mental resistance, huh? Oh no, nope, uh, I'm being dumb. My apologies, it's the belt. This is called the belt slot, right? Yeah, okay, so nothing, so just general armor. Uh, we could grab one more of these. I think that might be... might not even be a bad choice. Some more poison and acid resistance. I think I'm just gonna go for it. Because it also gives us health regen and armor, so it's, n it's not bad. It's not at all bad. There we go. So now we're back at 40% poison and acid resistance. So we will probably survive for at least a while. Very careful in saying this because poor Philbury is kind of scary. And becomes even more scary. Uh, because these are just the outskirts. I will try to keep all my facts about Port Filbury uh, until we are actually in Port Filbury, otherwise I will have nothing to talk about when we're there. So I kind of need to talk about other things because this is it's not a boring location, it's just an extension of Port Filbury. I picked up a yellow item. I don't want that. Uh, our greatest enemy uh, in a moment when we are in Port Filbury is going to be our infantry size. Uh, it's going to be way too small because Port Filbury is absolutely enormous. It is such an incredibly large area. Uh, and it's cool, it's really cool. Oh, there are a lot of monsters here, uh, and there's deadly train, and it's kind of messing me up. It is very much messing me up. Uh, is this one of... The... Yes, these things are the bane of my existence. Uh, you cannot fight them, they follow you around. They are absolutely awful, because any time I want to take a break and just, you know, look at the loot that is dropped, one of those things comes out of nowhere and just starts killing me. It's very casually, absolutely wrecking me. Not the greatest thing to encounter. Uh, luckily, once again, I've got Macy and Glory. Uh, oh, gonna help me out. How much spirit do I need for the ghost upgrade? Uh, I need 475, which I have right now. I have the upgraded codex. Um, but some of that comes from other items that I carry around. Uh, so, for example, uh, as I'm going to quickly pick up the food right here. There we go. Uh, my... which one was it? My helmet gives uh, 
plus 39 spirit. That thing follows me upstairs? Oh, come on! Oh, I hate those things. Uh, our helmet gives us 39 spirit. But we're not 39 above the 475 we need. So if I take off the helmet, you can see that the Codex Reckoning is now in red and is now not actually active. It can climb. I mean, it flows upstairs. Oh, they dissipate after way too long. That is good to know. I'm happy that they dissipate. I'm not happy that it takes so long for them to dissipate. Uh, and right now, ah, there is one more. I think it's called the Mythic Codex of Reckoning. I am not quite sure what level you need to be for it, but I it, it might be around level 75. It might also be around level 95. I think it's more close to 75, which is well into the DLC, if not into another playthrough. So. It's not something that we really need to worry about right now. Ah! Deals so much damage. There we go. I do love the kind of crashing sound that they make as they as they die. Really satisfying. So these things apparently don't bother us and we cannot touch them because they are on the other side of a small wall. Which must be an absolutely amazing wall, by the way. Uh, upgrade some physique. We can use it. Uh, and then... Uh, 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 what do we want to upgrade? Uh, obviously. Uh, and then... Oof. Maybe just some more health? Some more physique and health? Or more regeneration? I think more regeneration might be a good idea. Let's go with that. I accidentally turned up something. There we go. Exactly. The garden fence. Somehow harder than some pieces of wall that we've just smacked through. Not even a fence. It's just an improvised barricade. Oh well. I'm not complaining. Vault Keeper's Mark? Have I already seen you? Maybe. Item for ranged weapons and I don't really use that much ranged. I'm not really a fan of ranged characters in this game, I don't know why. Just... I find melee characters in this game more fun to play. Look at that, another improvised barrier. Oh no. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, nope, 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 nope. Take a short little break and then go back. Go back in. Alright, we're still alive, we're still alive. Okay, look, that a garden fence there, absolutely impenetrable. This thing can hit me! 
from way far away. Oh, I'm taking damage. I'm trying to look at chat. I'm trying to look at chat if anyone is saying something and I'm, I'm taking damage while doing so because every part of this place is dangerous. And this is the beginning. This is the introductory part. There's a harder part that comes after this. My constitution is almost zero. That is awful. Also, uh, fences, absolutely unbreakable. I don't even open the door. I just cut through it with a mace. I mean, I guess a good hammer would do the job. Anyway, uh, I'm not here to critique the game on its design. Oh, sorry, sorry, missed the blank there. I could really use a food ration by now. Let's uh, go kill some things that we cannot see because they're behind the shrine. Oh, and the uh, Hulk has found a nice vantage point. I'm sorry, they were level 57. Oof, oof. I thought level 50 was a nice, nice level to come here. I may be mistaken. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I read that it said badge of mis uh, uh, badge of misery. This is a badge of monstery. Okay. Okay. Uh, any of you interesting? No, not really. But but devotion point. So uh, two hundred or more health and four percent physical resistance. Fantastic. I like that one. Did we actually already have a... Oh, we've got Bull Rush and we have another one, right? Do we only have Bull Rush? No, we also had Assassin's Mark. Oh, yeah. That one thing that I don't really like that much. Might replace it with Blind Fury. Uh, and then probably die, because I don't do what every... What everyone who is an expert in this game tells me to do. Oh, speaking of which, uh, oh yeah, by the way, Riftgate. Before I actually die this time. There's so many enemies I cannot even see if it's dangerous ground or not. Uh, but it seems to be fine. That is not too interesting. So looking forward to more legendary items. Oh, whoa, okay, whoops. I forgot that the boss fight was already here, but apparently it is. Hello. Uh, luckily it's not too hard. Famous last word. There we go. Herald of the Stars. Now. Alright, we're not the 
first. Have we been everywhere? No, we haven't. Okay, that's good to know. Light, which not something that she has to us. Our first note, the city is rotting. So I, I might, I, I plan to do two hours tonight. I might be closer to doing three hours. Um, I say that because we still, we're soon to enter Port Failbury proper. Um, I'm not going to finish Port Failbury in half an hour. I'm, I'm just not going to. This is not very realistic. Unless I rush it, but I don't want to rush it because it's Port Failbury, it's a cool place. I was expecting it something there uh, that does however mean that I'm going to take a very quick break uh, in just a moment uh, to make sure that I am prepared and uh, I don't destroy my throat by talking for three hours without drinking anything because that would be bad. Uh, but first, let's store items. I actually might want to store some of my potions. Uh, simply because I need the space. Uh, so let's do that. Probably don't need... Um, yeah... A hundred of both will probably be fine, honestly. Honestly. Um, this will already be probably fine. Because once again, we need the inventory space. We're going to pick up a lot of items. It's a large area. Speaking of picking up items. I should not forget to grab myself a key. There we go. Skeleton key. One. Right. So, I am going to uh, grab some water. Uh, I will be back in uh, very little time. So, um, yeah, I will see you in a moment. Uh, please enjoy Macy and Glory's idle animation while you wait. See you in a bit.
I have returned. I see that Macy and Glory have started to get worried about me not moving for a while and have taken up defensive positions. Um, I really appreciate it, guys. Um, thanks for that. I am now, however, uh, just quickly going to run around a bit. Uh, just to let people who are in the future scrolling by, uh, just to let them know that I've returned. Gloria has not moved at all. Uh, I mean... It's timid like that sometimes, it's fine. They're doing so well, they need to rest sometimes as well. Anyway, speaking of rest, Port Filbury, which is probably the actual opposite of it. Port Filbury gates, sealed by an ancient power, requires a skeleton key, which we have. Our inventory is empty, our uh, vitality, our ether resistance is going to be a huge, absolutely uh, problematic problem. But it's gonna be fine. Here we go. There's no turning back now. I mean, there is a turning back now, but it would waste a lot. Let's just wait for a while. Oh, I thought you would be close. Okay, that's okay. into the cellar. Yeah, pretty fancy case. Uh, so, we enter the city through its foundations, you know, as you do. Uh, and it, it, it seems a bit weird. I like it. Um, because it means that the moment that you're inside of the city, the moment that you actually enter it, you really are in the middle. Uh, and that is cool. Oh, there we go. Market reached rank 15. That's good. Maybe I will give I will give Assassin's Mark to Macy and Glory. Maybe they uh, they're right with it. They can probably make good use of it. Or uh, I will give the great superpower to Macy and Glory. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, I will give give them the grandiose boost they so deserve. I'm going to pick up uh, all green items that I find so far. I will probably drop about half of them halfway through. Because... Yeah. What is superpower? Um, I am now working on a tier 3 constellation. Uh, which are constellations that have uh, pretty large requirements and don't really... Uh, they're very much endgame focused. And... They have a power that activates on attack. They have power that activates on attacks, like Assassin's Mark, and I think I've got Bull Rush as well. Uh, the only problem with those is that they... Uh, you can only have one active on, on any skill. You have to bind them to a skill, and when you use that skill it can trigger, but you can only have one active in the skill. So right now I've got Assassin's Mark on Righteous Fervor, 
And so every time I uh, I crit with Righteous Fervor, there's a 100% chance that the target will get a minus 22 penalty to physical and pierce resistance for 10 seconds. You can also bind it to uh, pets, minions, or um, you know, holy warriors. Uh, in which case, it happens on their attack. So now that is Bullrush, but that might become Oleron's Might instead. And here we are. Port Filbury. Specifically, Old Town, apparently. So, Port Filbury is a city that has been taken over by the Ethereals, as you can see. Uh, right now it's still Old Town, so it kind of looks a bit like most. Um, for now it still looks a bit like most areas do uh, that have buildings in Grimdon. Uh, but when we get to more of the kind of city center, it's going to look very different. Uh, if we can actually get there, because I'm already taking a lot of damage. And Port Filbury has a lot of notes, and through these notes, uh, a bit of the story is told of what happened to Port Filbury and how, how the Ethereals act. Uh, and how they go about taking over an entire town. Uh, what they usually do is they try to... Uh, they try to p possess people in uh, positions of power. Um, and they did so with the, uh, the mayor's advice. who is actually also, uh, along with two others, uh, the boss fight in this area. Now, they expect the mayor of the town to be quite weak and, and uh, kind of mo mostly self-interested and not really caring about the people, uh, and therefore easy to control. Uh, but as they found out, uh, it was actually quite hard for them to keep the mayor in check. And it um, made their job dangerous. It, it, it threatened to uh, to destroy all their plans. Uh, so what they did instead uh, was kind of to slowly uh, but surely, from the position as an of advisor. Uh, sabotage basically the entire city and all of its um, kind of make make living in the city extremely difficult uh, which is why we will get to a place that is basically just um, like a um, uh, trash heap it, just in the middle of the city uh, also that the mayor, uh, so that the mayor would lose the support of the people and they could eventually uh, get rid of the mayor. And as you can see, uh, they did in fact succeed. Uh, and there we go. Oh, I'm so glad that that floating blob of ether is gone now. It's causing me way too much stress. Now, 
for Filbury, it's an absolute maze. Uh, it is very, it, it is somehow both very open and very close off. Uh, so we'll probably backtrack quite a bit to try to get to as many locations as possible because loot. Look at that! Relentless Mutant Bludgeon of Ruin, a better item. Yes, please, but level 55, which is quite far away. But still nice. Sounds rather convoluted. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of is. <laughs> 55 is not that far. No, it's not. It's, um... I think when we finish the main game. The levels from now on are gonna be slow. Yep. Uh, but then again, the, the main uh, finishing the main game isn't that far off anymore. Uh, we are already at the gates of the Necropolis. Uh, there's basically only one more rift gate, which is the Necropolis. Uh, and then there's a big fight. Uh, and that's, that's kind of it. I don't know what I was trying there, but it didn't work. Yeah. The levels in this game can be quite deceptive. Uh, I already felt it that level 50 just take ages to get to. Oh, I don't like the loaders on that one. Armor is great, but armor only helps against physical resistance, so it's not... It's good. But resists are way better. Uh, ah, ow. Oh. Uh, there are also several kind of mini bosses in this location, uh, and we just uh, we just kind of saw one through a wall, and I don't know how to get there. Uh, it might be oh, we have to walk all the way around. Huh? That's unfortunate. Okay, it's probably still worth doing though. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I should. I should. Uh, because bosses drop better loot. And that is the entire reason why we're here. Oh! Here we go. One of the most dangerous locations in this game. The flames of Fort Bilbury. Not too bad so far. I say that as I am getting absolutely smacked. But we made it. So now we can open the corrupted relic. Which is an item that is not relic. Level 52. 
that certainly doesn't hurt. Uh, and obviously. And then let's upgrade a bit of cunning, because cunning is one of the things that we should focus on. Yet it's pretty low. Right, so now I need to backtrack to that boss. Ah! Oh, apparently my internet was gone for a moment. I hope that I didn't miss any chat messages. Oh, there we go. There's what your orders. Hello. Empower Demon Force Breastplate. Yes. Wait, what do you? What did you get? Oh, Caden. Okay. Oh. Walls, not, inter not interesting for us. And that was the first of the mini bosses. And that path isn't blocked. It's just. Yeah, it's blocked. Okay. Yeah, that was surprisingly quick. No, I did that before and I did it. Oh, I cannot go through here, huh? I have to work, walk all the way around. Okay, well then, then that's what's going to happen. I actually kind of like how confusing uh, Port Filbury is. National Video Game Day. Oh, whoops. Okay. Well, uh, wasn't meant to be, I guess. Look at that. We already have so much stuff. It's going to be awful. So what I probably am going to do... I did not know that this was a place. This is the first time I'm seeing this. Okay, that's cool. Night in the dark, huh? Found a kerosene, great. Um, I am going to make some decisions on the item that, items that I'm picking up. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. United States have all the for everything. Yeah, and somehow they're never free. I also have the idea that Spain has an holiday, has an holiday for everything. But anyway. um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, look at items that I want to pick up and basically see if they are higher level or not. Uh, like, if, if I can actually use them, or if, it, if they are too high level, if they require a level that's higher than mine. Um, uh, and if I don't meet the level requirement, I'm going to probably pick it up. Uh, and if I do, uh, I'm not. Why? Because probably the items that I don't meet the level requirements for are more expensive and thus worth more money. I think. There's no way of knowing because the game does not actually give me the value for items unless I am going to sell them. Uh, but we won't have enough space otherwise. Oh. No! Oh, that was way too close. No, 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 please heal. Ugh. Oh, 
honestly, the main reason why this place is so incredibly dangerous is not so much the enemies, enemies, it's that the ground almost everywhere just kills you. Like right here. I need to get out of the water there because it's slowly killing me. Uh, and there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, oh, yeah, and the fact that the crystal uh, formations uh, have an unlimited range. That also makes it incredibly hard to deal with. And that was way too close. Uh, I'm not going back for those items. It's not like I don't have enough items out there, and I don't think they were very much worth it. They're especially not worth dying for. That that be a life. Oh no, no. Go away. Go away. I don't want you here. Uh, but we have to go through here, and ah, we don't have to. We're going to go through here because of a boss fight. Uh, and, you know, boss fight means loot. So, um, fun fact, uh, I have never actually died here. Uh, so if I'm going to die uh, around here, uh, because of my stupidity, that's going to be my first time dying in this place. Alright, now for the easy part, boss fight. Oh no, oh no. Nope. He calls an invulnerable ally. Journal, journal, what have I done? Oh, prismatic diamond. That one gives vitality resistance. That is interesting. Uh, the journal, what have I done? So yeah, th this is the place why people, um, oh, oh, no, no, I, I cannot do anything about that. That is just, I'm, I'm taking damage there and there's no, there's no saving me. Uh, I have to heal that away. Uh, yeah, uh, he did regret something. Uh, he helped the, um, I don't know exactly anymore, it's been a while since I read that, oh, that was like, uh, he helped the advisor, uh, the high advisor to, uh, kind of, that place that you just saw, uh, that, that was just a, a landfill in the middle of the city, uh, which is kind of why people were upset, I cannot see anything, I hate this, um, It, it, it's understandable why people would be upset about that. Uh, and he helped make that. Uh, and then the high advisor was like, Cool, uh, you've done your job for me. Now I'm going to put you here and you're going to die. Or become something monstrous. Uh, and that is exactly what happened. As you could see. Oh, I can walk through there. Okay.
Uh, I hate the range of that thing. Like, it's so hard to deal with. Okay. I mean, they did have off ruins, so they give some bonus to physical uh, damage. Oh no. Okay, so I really should, I really should learn in this place to keep moving around. Uh, because if I stand still, uh, that gives a chance for those uh, batches of corruption uh, to catch up uh, with me. And if I'm standing on uh, on ground, that is bad for me. That's bad. One push. Oh, that's cool. So that's a notice of um, that what's kind of the Inquisition in this game, uh, except that it doesn't have as bad a name. Uh, that they uh, put a wanted poster for, uh, you know, potential threats from uh, Ethereal, which apparently, you know, they were kind of right about. So now, uh, in a moment, uh, oh, right here, uh, this is one of the game's most asshole moves here. Uh, it's like, oh, great, there's a shopkeep here. That is amazing, so all my stuff that fills up my inventory that I cannot use, by the way, go away, uh, I can sell that there, but nope, item cannot be sold. Not so much that item cannot be sold, uh, this merchant doesn't buy anything, which is incredibly frustrating. Uh, so instead I'm just going to dump stuff at his feet. Uh, and you know what, I'm just going to throw out, uh, no, not all of them. I'm going to start with throwing out some. Uh, ranged weapons and shields. And that, that clears it up just a little bit. Yeah. He doesn't even want to buy stuff. Apparently there's another one right here. Who else doesn't want to buy stuff? And it's so annoying because... Uh, I don't know. I've got this with a lot of games. Uh, I very much have it with Grim Dawn. I don't buy stuff in these kinds of games. Very, like, I think I've bought, I think I've bought an actual, like, an item. So not, not an upgrade, um, uh, but an actual item once in this game. Uh, and that was because I happened to come across a merchant who sold rare items and one of the rare items was really really cool so I thought like, oh, you know what, Let, let's just take it I should also stop just mindlessly picking up all items because I'm running out of inventory space Oh no. Okay, so I'm going to make a really stupid decision in a moment. Just so you're all aware. Why am I not healing? I'm going to wait for that thing to dissipate because we really don't want it. You you hang around for way too long, you know that, right? You are. Okay, excellent. Alright, here we go. So these are like already strong opponents, 
uh, in a location that is very dangerous. But we've got a legendary item outfit, so it's worth it. Not that good of a man. Not actually that good of a legendary item, but that's okay. It's a legendary item. Uh, we also got a really cool, really good, really suitable for us um, rare shield that we cannot use because shields. And a blueprint, which I'm actually really excited about. Uh, Acid, Vitality, Poison and Oath Keep. Oh, okay, so this is one for the alternative Oath Keep. Oath Keeper. That's cool. And mace, and if you... Uh, nope, okay. And then we continue. The watchers that hang around here luckily aren't that tough. Uh, wow, level 65 required, huh? That's I've never I've never made it to level 60 in this game, not yet at least. Uh, so that's also going to be an exciting moment when that's going to happen eventually on this stream. I hope not not this stream, this series. I do not plan to go on to level 60 tonight. I think I I think I just physically can't. I think there are not enough hours left in my day to get to level 60. Uh, unlike my enemies, who apparently are already there. Getting quiet. I am aware of that. Uh, this place is actually getting kind of scary with how much damage I'm taking. It's probably because of my very low ether resistance. That wasn't a good idea, now was it? Uh, should have thought of that beforehand instead of, you know, while I'm here. Me and Loren, I couldn't really do much about it because I don't have empty component slots. Oh well. Uh, I think that's it for uh, this place, of, this part of High Town. Um, which means that we're slowly going to move towards the boss fight here. I am probably not going to talk during the boss fight, because the boss fight in this location is hard. Really hard. Not so much because there is a boss that is hard. It's because there are three boss fights at the same time. And all of them are pretty difficult. Uh, so I hope I'm going to survive that one. Uh, but no guarantees. Ooh. Are you a better version of what I already have? You might be. That is interesting. I want to keep you on the side. I have the feeling that the game is starting to lag. I think there may be a little bit too many enemies on the screen right now. Game, take notes. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! I cannot! I cannot get to you! Oh, that is that is just rude.
Uh, it, it would be kind of easier to send Mace and Glory ahead to deal with everything. Um, however, uh, there is certainly the problem that uh, Macy and Glory cannot take damage, so enemies will not focus on them, so they will still run towards me to go and hit me. I do like this place way more than the other Forbidden Domain that I've seen, which is the uh, uh, the Steps of Torment, the Undead one. Uh, I think I especially like this one because it is outside and it's out in the open. There's no, there's no one clear obvious path to places because it's it's so large and so many. You've got so many places to go. Uh, where in the other one, you know, there's still there's some variety, but you're still walking through the same tunnel. And I don't really have that feeling with this, uh, with here in Fort Phil. I uh, really hope that I can get just to level 53 before I face the bosses. That would be nice. Uh, and I may either just or just not make it. Not ready. Depending on... Oh, I'm gonna make it. Fine. Huh. I say and then don't make it. Is this not? It is! Look at that! I read a book and now I leveled up. Yeah, I, I, I won't be for, forced to fight in the strain. That is true. Um, however, uh, the, the other problem is that they are kind of hard to control. Uh, it's not impossible, but then I have to uh, give up on other things. Uh, I should probably increase resilience. And more physique. And now, uh, it is boss fight time. Is there anything I can do to help me here? It's chaos resistance, that's not gonna help. Me. No, no, I don't think so, actually. Alright. Throne of Van Aldrich. Here we go. Oh no, 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 no. Now I know that, ah, uh, I know that they all have different names. I have to say that I never really have the time to reach them. Alright, we're getting there. I think we're gonna do it. Excellent. Alright! That was the boss fight here. So now there's only one more step. Please. I don't know why that just happened. May, may I please move through this door? Thank you. Oh, I didn't want to go here. That that place unfortunately doesn't have anything interesting. What? The items disappeared? Oh, come on. That was just uncalled for. Wait, what? Did, did I just lose all my loot? Oh no, there it is. Oh. 
Yeah, but I'm on left turn. Storm Shepherd. The three soul fire plus one to health plus a shaman. Ah, that is cool. So, oh, that one's soul fire. Okay. Uh, some hulking laggards, which I don't think are useful to us. Uh, mm, uh. Mm. Okay, so my bleeding resist goes down, but everything else goes up, including ether resist. So I think I'm gonna go for this one. <laughs> That's great. Just after I went through all the ether stuff, I find this. Uh, and now I'm just going to try and pick up as many of these things as I can. Which is all of them. Excellent. And escape the city. And from here on out, uh, I'm going to... And that was uh, Port Filbury. Got something you need stashed. Uh, which is still uh, pretty exciting, and in my opinion, at least, uh, kind of scary. Stop you on the back. These are items that we may want to use later. Uh, oh, and I am still in the habit of storing. All my legendary items. Also, just because they look really cool. Just look at them. They're so cool. Uh, and then I'm going to sell all the rest. Uh, and that's how I make money in this game. Actually... First line flash, smash... Uh, mm, okay, level 16, never mind. I've got a character that could make use of that, but by the time that character's level 60, I'll probably have found something else. Now to just drop off these two in here, uh, and then uh, that was it for today. Uh, so next time, which is probably going to be next week, Friday, uh, we might actually finish the game, the main game at least, because we still need to go from the gates of Necropolis to uh, the Necropolis itself. Uh, and then fight the final boss, and then go back there again to fight something else. But you know, we'll see about that uh, about that next time. Uh... Oh, I totally forgot something. Whoops! There's a guy who's still waiting for his cannons. Whoops! Let's, let's just quickly go and do that again. Um, It's still in one piece. Suppose that means you didn't try to enter the conflagration then. Wise choice. Uh, actually I went out there and the cannons are secured. Well, I be damned. Got more guts than brains. And you won't find me complaining when those cannons are back in our hands. I'll have some men sent out to hold them back immediately. You've done the Legion a huge service. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Sure. So, <laughs> what I was saying... Oh. Uh, next time, we will finish up the main game. And then we will probably um, 
go blind into uh, the Ashes of Malmoth, which is the first DLC, uh, which is going to take place here. Uh, and in this very long journey towards that. So yeah, uh, but that will all be next week. Uh, for now, uh, this is it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it is not Pathfinder, I know, I know. Uh, I would also have liked to play Pathfinder over this, but it's still fun. Um, I will probably be back with this next week, Friday, with more Grim Dawn, finishing up the game. Uh, starting to do some uh, final side quests, such as Blackheart of the Void. And next week... Uh, there won't be live Pathfinder next week, Sunday, but we're trying to find a replacement. And hopefully, hopefully it will all be in place then. So hopefully there will be Pathfinder next week, uh, Sunday, but it will most certainly not be live. Anyway, uh, thank you. I'm going to uh, say goodbye now. So, um, goodbye.